what does filmmaking means to you for me it starts with the camera through which i can feel the thrill the excitement the passion the moments of joy and calmness i can capture the beauty around me because the more i see the more i feel so this time it's sony zv e1 the world's lightest and smallest full frame camera hey guys my name is ankit bharia and welcome back to the channel first of all let me tell you this is not just some camera i'm talking about in a youtube video this is the one let me share something so i started my youtube filmmaking journey with this camera this is sony a6300 this is aps-c camera and then i upgraded to full frame camera this is sony a7 mark iii and then i upgraded to sony a7s iii which is the one i'm currently recording right now and then finally i have this zv e1 which is going in my camera bag and there is a reason why so when i'm packing my camera bag i want all the gears to be as light as possible but still not missing out on any feature and this sony zv e1 has everything i wanted plus it has some more features that i wanted in my sony a7S3. So let's start with the basics. This camera has 12 megapixel sensor as Sony A7S3 and it can shoot in 4K 120 FPS. Plus this has dual base ISO at 640 and 12800. Okay, now I want to talk about my five favorite features of ZV Even. The first one is it can do the eye autofocus while using the clear zoom. Like I am using right now 11mm f1.8 lens, which is an APS-C lens, like which I bought it to use it with Sony A7S III. But when I started recording and I realized that when I do the clear zoom, it doesn't do the eye autofocus. But with this ZV Even, I can do that because see, it's an APS-C lens. So if I zoom out using clear zoom, you will see the black bars on both the side, right? So that's why I need to zoom in a bit. And even after zooming in, it does the eye autofocus. And that was really important. Now you would ask me like, why did you choose 11mm APS-C lens? Because it's very lightweight. Like if you go with the full frame, they are very heavy. And I initially told you that I need all the gears to be as light as possible. Now, finally with ZV even, I can use this feature. <laughs> now the second one is touch base function menu. Like it's so handy. Now I can change all the aperture, ISO, shutter, temperature with just using the touch. When you're shooting run and gun, it's just so easy and quickly to just change these settings. Now the third feature is dynamic active stabilization. Like I'm using this feature right now and you'll see that the shot is really, really stable. You know, this is gonna be really, really helpful for all the people who don't use gimbal. Like you're shooting run and gun, and just take out your camera, take the shots and it'll give you a stable shot. See the sample of using with and without this feature and clearly you can see the difference. I really love it. This is with standard stabilization. I'm just simply walking. Now I'm just walking with dynamic active stabilization feature. You'll see the difference. <laughs> Now the fourth feature is product showcase mode. Like a lot of time it happens when you're reviewing a product and you want to showcase the product in front of the camera, but the camera focuses more on your face rather than the product. So you have to some, do something like this. But in this case, you don't need to do like this. It's going to focus more on the product. See, now it's going to focus on me. Now it's on the product. And that's how it can be really, really useful for such cases. That's great, right? <laughs> Okay, now the fifth feature is soft skin effect. I mean, I don't do makeup, so anything which can make my skin look better, I would accept that. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna use this feature. So there are three modes, uh, low, mid and high. I'm currently recording in the low mode. I mean, you can experiment which one looks the best on you. Like I would suggest don't use high because it, it makes your skin look extra smooth, which may look unnatural. So I would go with low. You can see all the four modes and see which one looks the best on you and use that. <laughs> okay, along with my five favorite features that I just talked about, there are some more AI-based features which this camera offers and this can be really, really helpful for 
creators like for example i am vlogging right now and there is one mode like there is one defocus background mode if i'll just hit that button it's going to make everything clear in the background you can see that and if i want everything to be blur in the background i'll just click defocus and it's going to make everything blur in the background so like automatically it changes all the settings about shutter shutter and iso like you have to be in the intelligent mode for that but it's going to be really helpful like it's showing some landscapes you can just hit it's going to make everything clear okay now the next feature is also very interesting like the one i'm using right now is is cine vlog mode so it's going to apply the crop automatically and like you know it's going to apply the lut like i'm using like i'm using the look right now is clean and forest so this is the look and i don't need to color grade it later on but personally i wouldn't use this feature because like i like to shoot in s log 3 and want to color grade later on and let's say if i need to crop in for instagram so this wouldn't be beneficial but but for someone who is just starting out this can be really really great like it's the look is automatically created see this <laughs> So with so many things packed in just one camera you know this is definitely the one that is going in my camera bag so i hope you enjoyed this full review video and if you like the video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for future videos and let me know in the comments below if i missed anything we can chat further so yeah with that said i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye dhanyawad